Hey there, boaters. I'm Captain Stacey Hanrahan, and welcome to Monday's episode of the Boaters TV. First up, our captain's caption photo was provided by Andrew. We'll reveal the caption of the day at the end of the show. Now in ship shape, extinguishing worry with Passage Maker Magazine. I've said it before, fire is one of, if not the, biggest worry I have aboard. So having multiple fire extinguishers, including a fixed fire extinguisher system in our engine room, allows me to sleep sounder. But what exactly is so special about a fixed fire extinguisher, or FFE? In their September issue, Passage Maker Magazine's Steve D'Antonio gives us the details. Obviously, the primary difference between portable and fixed fire extinguishers is that FFE systems are permanently and securely attached to a vessel with strong brackets and through bolts. FFE systems must use agents, the substances used to extinguish a fire, that are not harmful to the equipment and gear being protected. FFEs use gaseous agents, which don't cause damage to mechanical and electrical equipment. They're called clean agents, and they evaporate completely. Examples include Halon 1211, Halon 1301, and HFC 227. Halon is extremely effective at fighting fires and possesses low toxicity. Unfortunately, the production of these gases ended in 1994, since Halon was found to be an ozone-depleting material. If you have a Halon system aboard your boat, it may remain in place until discharged, but cannot be refilled. Luckily, Halon's replacement, HFC-227, is also very effective and has low toxicity. In fact, HFC-227 is used to protect the original Declaration of Independence. So far, I've discussed clean agents, used in areas that might be occupied by people. Some agents are designed for use in places that normally are not occupied by people. These include FE-241 and CO2. Like clean agents, they leave no residue and evaporate completely. But they are much more toxic and carry the potential to kill you. The main reason FE-241 is used in place of HFC-227 is that it costs about half as much. By the way, an engine compartment is considered a normally unoccupied space. <laughs> I guess those that came up with that classification system don't know about my engine room. Point is, regardless of classification, you don't want to be in a space with or without a fire when any agent is discharged. Steve has so much more on fixed fire extinguishing systems, including tips on selection, location, and installation. So I definitely suggest you read his entire article in the September issue of Passage Maker Magazine. Next, we'll see what's splashing around in nautical news. Did you see this video? Last week, a lost baby whale in the waters off Sydney, Australia mistook a 36-foot yacht for its mother. The humpback calf even tried to suckle the boat. Rescuers towed the yacht into deeper waters and the calf eventually let go, but continued to swim nearby. At the time of taping, wildlife officers were keeping a close eye on the whale, believed to be less than one month old. Sadly, the exhausted humpback is not expected to survive unless it finds its mother or a foster mom. As badly as officers want to help, they have no way of providing the calf with humpback whale milk. Next up, in Bosun's Locker, we'll take a look at Stacy's wish list. On my wish list this week, two products that will put your old boat hook to shame. First up, the Rhino Boat Hook. It recently won an NMMA Innovation Award, and here's why. Conventional boat hooks are designed to retrieve mooring lines, but not to place them. The Rhino Boat Hook makes it easy to tie a dock line to a cleat from the safety of your boat. Its secret? The two hooks and two clips on its end. The clips allow you to place a looped line around a cleat or piling with ease. That means no more multiple, embarrassing, and frustrating lassoing attempts. 
As the saying goes, two is better than one, and the Rhino's two hooks make picking up buoys and securing lines simple. With the Rhino, you no longer have to make a dangerous jump to the dock or lean way out over the bow rail to secure your boat. Also on my list, the Bazooka Baler. This tailor-made product is a boat hook, baler, and power washer all in one. It has an automatic locking system that is safer than the typical twist lock found on other boat hooks. Put the hook under water, extend the baler, and the piston draws about a quart of water per stroke. So the bazooka baler is perfect for cleaning out hard to reach bilges. I'd like to see your boat hook do that. But wait, there's more. The bazooka's got a firing range more than 50 feet. So use it to clean the deck or win a water fight. Stay tuned, we'll tell you where to get my wish list products at the end of the show. And now it's time to announce this week's poll. Here we go. What type of boating attire do you prefer to wear? Windbreaker coat and pants, polo shirt with khaki shorts, anything sporting the boater's logo, bathing suit, birthday suit. To vote, simply go to www.theboaters.com. Now it's time to reveal Stacy's TheBoaters.com celebrity profile pick of the day, which is Chris and his 20-foot Bentley Young Yacht. Chris loves boating on the lakes and rivers surrounding Raleigh, North Carolina. He says if he didn't have to work, he'd probably never come ashore. I think many of us feel that same way, Chris. Welcome to the boaters and congrats on your sea liberty status. And finally today, the captain's caption of the day is, hold it, now back up a little. Knitted <laughs> by Mark Hancheron. <laughs> and that'll do it for this episode of The Voters TV. See you back here on Wednesday.